Hi guys, my name is Meads and this is going to be a review for Killick Bonehead Test Subject 56 as well as some updates. So let's do the updates to get it out of the way. Some of you are wondering where's the reviews? Well like everybody else, I'm enjoying my <laughs> winter break and as well as spending quality time with my friends and family, especially for Christmas time, uh, doing uh, exchange gifts and stuff like that, which was really nice. And also uh, catching up with them, and also hanging out with my friends uh, tomorrow for the new year. Yeah. So as much as I want to do reviews, I like spending time <laughs> with family and friends as well. So yeah, I'm kind of taking a little break. I am building a kit, also uh, building one of the plum kits. Uh, it's, I forgot which one it is. It's somewhere in here. Um. Huh, Sanada, this guy here. It's actually, uh, I think Sanada was a, I think red. So this is the Masayuri version. So I'm working on this kit slowly. Uh, it's, it doesn't work well when you're building a kit and watching Netflix. And you end up just watching Netflix. <laughs> well, there's that too. And also, I I'm working through the, I'm working normally. And basically, I'm trying to just fit what I can do. And uh, sometimes, I just run her relax. So, I'm taking a little break here and there as well. So, I do apologize if there's not much videos uh, to go along with my channel. But uh, hopefully, you can uh, watch the older videos I have. And also, I will be making my top and worst picks of 2016. I'll have that eventually. <laughs> Maybe on Monday, we'll see. But uh, anyways, I uh, think that's about it uh, for this quick update and uh, let's continue with the review. All right, so I just mentioned uh, about this box here. Quite nice. And it is a windowed box. Open it up, you can uh, see the little guy there. That's the baseball bat, kind of like his bigger version. Quite nice. And uh, let's see how to open this. All right, so right here. Let me use my hobby knife and uh, let's open this nicely. I can open this. Nope. Sometimes you can open it. Uh, gotta find a sweet spot. Okay, it doesn't want to open there. I'm trying to open it without creasing the box. There we go. Although it's, I think it's pretty creased already. <laughs> It's, it's one of those that you don't really need to take it out of the box get, since it's windowed. And, but I kind of just want to see what's inside and maybe we can uh, do a little bit of different pose. But considering that this is a designer toy, I don't think uh, there's not much we can do with it. Alright, so... Ooh, they use magnets. I do like my magnets. So we get the bat here. The bat is flexible, which is a good thing. Uh, the whole thing is molded in one, I guess. Yeah, there's no moving parts, so it's that's it. <laughs> Actually, it would be cool if it's a bubble head, but then again, it doesn't have a proper base, so I don't think having a bubble head will work. We got uh, this particular base here. I can see where they kind of, yeah, I can. <laughs> huh. interesting. So I guess that's the bottom where, I think that's where the pegs are. Hmm, interesting. All right, so where is the magnet? Okay, uh, unfortunately it's where the ugly side is. And it kind of stays there. The magnet is not strong enough though, but, uh, yeah, I, I kind of wish... Yeah, where's the magnet? I kind of wish the, they made the magnet uh, stronger. Huh. Let me try this. and get my... Yeah, I don't think the... Well, it kind of sticks there. Hmm. A little odd. Yeah, actually, it does stick well on my lamp. 
but it does not stick well on this. I think there's uh, just not enough metal on this thing here. Yeah. Oh well. I mean, it, it will still stay there for a little bit, but it's just not strong enough. Yeah, this side here, that, there's no metal plate there. Huh. Okay. But anyways, yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah, um, uh, do I recommend getting this? Uh, it really depends. If you like the design, go for it. But other than that, yeah, it, it's a designer toy, so just keep that in mind. It is a bit expensive, <laughs> but for me, uh, since I already have the big guy there, you know, it's just nice to have this. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it uh, for the review. So much for that. <laughs> Not a good base. All right, maybe just putting it the wrong. Don't tell me they only put the metal plate in a certain spot. But anyways, there we go. This is the review for Gillick, the Subject 56. It's a nice uh, nifty designer toy. I like it to go along with my bigger version here. And that's about it. If you got questions, uh, particular for this, I'll try my best to answer that for you. And that's about it. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.